Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper Right-Hand Corner. We have Gandhi starting as the Red Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Bug as the Purple Protoss. This is on Tau Cross, and this is BSL Season 12 Chobo League Losers Match Game 1. Whoever loses this is out of the tournament. Whoever wins this is going to move on to the winner match. I believe to face... Well, it's been a bit. I feel like I was on vacation. I'm just coming back for the people on YouTube. There was this big gap where it, you're not going to see this for like a month and a half or however much time it gets me to do the uploads. But for the Twitch people, the Twitch people who I love, uh, this is like my first official cast. It feels like coming back from vacation and actually being well rested in the mind space. But I believe he's they're going to face Arthur. No, Arthur's already advanced. They're going to end up. Uh, I'm just brain farting all together. Anyway. I'm losing track of the group, but I'm going to proceed with the commentary anyway. I like seeing Tau Cross PvP. I feel like, t for whatever reason, maybe because of the ramp list play, because it's three-player map, because that opens up opportunities for interesting cheese, I feel like, for whatever reason, Tau Cross PvPs tend to be a little bit more entertaining. They tend to be a little bit wilder. Haven't seen a match on PvP. There's just so much polypoid uh, with recent play. So anyway, point being, I'm excited to see this match in, in particular and see what these guys are going to fire off. Bug opening up a gateway, gateway here as well. Are seeing initial scout for Gandhi. No scout, so for Bug, interestingly enough. So going to delay the scout a little bit, perhaps to get a bit of an economic advantage, or it could be just forgot to scout. Gandhi is going to start scouting the upper left-hand corner. I am going to say for the audience on Twitch. Are we going to see two gate? I think we are going to see two gate. So going to rely on his zealots to do the scouting. Starting to move his probe out to do the scouting now. It looks like we do see an assimilator backside from Gandhi. This is one of those maps where I feel like two gate is very strong because it is rampless. It is a pretty sizable ramp. There's just a lot of space. and But the, the trick of it is, is like if you can get enough zealots out, there's a lot of space to kind of dance around with the zealots. I don't know. We'll see. Looks like Fortunately for Bug, with this two gate, he is going to be able to scout into Gandhi's base initially. There is an initial zealot being produced by Gandhi. So he is going to have something initially to defend this odd. He didn't play super greedy and try to skip the initial zealot, which I don't think most players attempt on Tau Cross. But Probe is going to sneak into the base. Going to see that Cybernetic score. I like this defensive pylon from Gandhi. Going to make sure that, kind of try to avoid the manor pylons in his own base. Two initial zealots, no assimilator just yet. From bug and oftentimes when so which suggests to me we're going to see a bigger dedication to this zealot attack the first zealot starting to move forward actually gets an initial hit pulling back against the probe the probe is going to wander in it sees both gateways firing and it's going to see both zealots coming out immediately there is a dragoon being produced by gandhi so now the question is and that probe trying to do a little bit of delay on this initial zealot now the question is is does gandhi put up a proficient defense against Bug. Bug moving across. Is he going to follow this up with Simulator? I think he's going to... Looking to see if he's going to shoot out another round of Zealots. Right now. Oh, man. He went three Zealots. I take it back entirely. Three Zealots into Nexus. A very risky build. Interesting play. So he wants to press forward with this initial three Zealots. Force Gandhi to... Optimally, if he can get in the... Probe line can be more advantageous. This probe is cycling back around. Very risky build, and I don't know that's going to pay off. The Zealots are able to breach this front door. There's going to be two Zealots to greet, and two Zealots, the Dragoons, and the production at this stage should be sufficient, particularly with that shield battery. But keep in mind, Gandhi built a shield battery. He's building a few more units than he might have wanted to. But Bug, I think, realizing he's gotten spotted by this probe, yeah, he needs to get back to home base and in a hurry. He's trying to stutter step, get more advantageous groupings but the thing is is he's now on the bug is effectively on the defensive as far as a follow-up attack dragoons should be pumped is gandhi actually going to drop a third gateway i'm almost wondering if he's going to drop a third gateway seeing this natural expansion up a photon cannon warping down wow for so a forge and a photon cannon on top of everything else realizing that dragoons are going to be here Gandhi with a much superior supply. Did manage to get that probe back in this base, but he knows he needs to be aggressive to catch up economically. Now, is possible what he might opt for is, is like, let's just pod units, go ahead and get additional base up. But it looks like for the moment, he's going to chase these zealots down. Three cannons warping in, which actually, four cannons warping in to try to defend this. Interesting play. Now, with four cannons warping in on the front, what Gandhi can do is actually sit back 
and go ahead and get an excess up. And this will actually, because basically, what is this? This is 600 resources. That is a lot of resources. So he can go ahead and sit back, maybe skip this round of Dragoons, go ahead and get his own Nexus up and actually even things out a little bit. He'll be behind in the overall probe count as far as a follow-up. But what he can do is he knows that Bug is going to have to sit back and be defensive for a time, that he doesn't have the ground forces to really be aggressive. So he can go ahead and push tech right behind this. And it looks like he is opting to do so. He's pausing the Dragoon production out of these gateways, grabbing a robotics facility, probably wants to get an Observer sooner rather than later. He's going to grab his own Nexus. Now keep in mind, this allows Bug to double produce probes. He's actually grabbing an additional gas. So definitely opting to perhaps go Dark Templar, High Templar as a follow-up. He does have that Templar Archives down. So Nexus now warping in for Gandhi. He probably, yeah, he's going to probably get an Observatory sooner rather than later. Try to get eyes in Bug's base just to see what he's up to. But currently, he knows that he's basically safe to go ahead and push tech push anything else we do see two additional gateways now for bug and i would not be shocked if he just goes for an instant we'll see if he goes for an instant upgrade on high templar and pushes things that way or if he does try to sneak uh usually i don't expect dark templar on this field we're gonna see yeah so we see one one high templar one dark templar and i expect to see an early psi storm and we'll see if bug turns around and if he can basically go for an attack get inside Gandhi's base, push him into a corner, get some nice Psy Storms. The other thing about Psy Storm on Tal Cross is you have these bridges that just make any sort of AoE effect, generally siege tanks, plague, whatever it is, just make it so much more effective. So I kind of like this strategy at a bug. Gandhi moving back out with his units. He does have an observer in production. Psy Storm now being upgraded from bug. He's skipping observers altogether. I think Gandhi was maybe expecting a shuttle or something along those lines to be peeling over the edge. So he has his unit's position. I'm almost wondering after the Observer if he's going to get a shuttle himself to try to elevate her over a lot of these frontline defenses. So we'll see if that... Oh, never mind. He actually got a shuttle already that I missed. I take it back. Didn't see it in the production tab and missed it moving across the field. We do see a Dark Templar moving forward to do some scouting. The Observer should be in position to deal with that. But in the meantime, four Zealots... Dropping in the base. Observer, does he ca does Bug notice the Dark Templar? Does some initial fire, but didn't move the probe back. But now the Zealot's moving in to Bug's base. There's already some cannons there. That first cannon is down. Managed to get a handful of probes. So that's happening here. But in the meantime, this Dark Templar was feasting on probes at that natural expansion. Turning around, catching one of his own probes with that Psy Storm. And killing a lot of these units additionally. And Bug... Putting up a decent defense in his main. Still one cannon trying to defend the High Templar. Have a Psy Storm left in them, but there's not a lot of units to provide additional defense behind this. Psy Storming the Dragoon. Both High Templar, well, one High Templar down. The second's still alive. This is the Dark Templar. The Dark Templar is not rallied towards the main. It's going out of the base. Maybe that's intentional. I'm not sure. More units being elevated in. For Gandhi, continuing this relentless attack. Trying to get economic damage down. The Observer's there to take that Dark Templar out. And he has just all sorts of room to wreak all sorts of havoc. There are four gateways here, but what Bug really needs to do is he needs to pause production for a moment to get his units to come out simultaneously. Because as they're coming out piecemeal, Gandhi's just picking them off one by one. Now working on these cannons, and this is forcing a lot of cannons in production and everything else out. So I believe Gandhi is going to come out of this ahead, if only in the fact that he took so many dark High Templar down and all these other high-tech units, losing... His Zealot right there, the Probes losing some mining time, working on that cannon. The Dark Templar finally able to wipe out whatever's there, but the damage is done. Gandhi has equalized the Probe count overall. His expansion's up. He's moving out with more units to attack that front door. Is checking. Is he going to try to sneak an expansion? He's kind of checking out the corners to see if there are additional expansions. Now, keep in mind, part of Bug's strategy here was to get those High Templar out, to have more Psy Storm. To play from a defensive position. He does have another Psy Storm to work with. Dragoon's moving forward from Gandhi. Gandhi playing very aggressively. No Observer to deal with this Dark Templar. Plus there's that High Templar moving in. Now backing off with his Dragoons. So Bug very much pinned in. He's got a robotic facility up. Another Photon Cannon. His own Photon Cannon. Just so he doesn't have to deal with those Dark Templar doing runbys. He's going to add two more gateways. Bug actually has the superior production here. But... As far as his four gateways worth of production, but he's been assailed for such a long period of time and his army has been just absolutely mutilated that he's just now starting to get a semblance of a cohesive attack force at his natural expansion. 
And it's going to be, so here's the thing for Gandhi, he's going up to five gateways. It's going to be about two minutes before he can really follow this up. Is he going for another shuttle? I think he might going for another shuttle and peek in and kind of jump over this wall, over those cannon lines. Level and weapons. Is that level two weapons? Level two weapons upgrading for bug. He does have the overall weapons upgrade advantage and should for a bit of time. And we are seeing another Nexus being taken by Gandhi. It's like, okay, as long as we have Bug pinned in, let's go ahead and grab another Nexus. Bug grabbing additional gateways. That's going to put him up to a six count. Keep in mind with this five gateway count and the sixth one coming online momentarily, this is going to give Gandhi a bit of a production advantage, just slight. A probe snuck out. It looks like he's trying to position to take his third. Might be able to do so. Bug has his own drop starting to move out. The Observer sees it. Is Gandhi going to react to it is the question again. Because he missed that Dark Templar, I think, in those previous engagements. He has another Observer spotting it. But he's not reacting to this. And critically, he's got this third base, which is exposed. Has eyes, but the Dragoons just aren't reacting to this Dark Templar, High Templar. Maybe he's just opting to just skip it altogether. Wants to go ahead and use his own shuttle. Now is reacting, but a bit late. And honestly, I feel like the damage is done because, first of all, that Nexus has been spotted. Dark Templar dropping. I don't know that it's going to be able to take this Nexus out. We'll be able to kill the probe. High Templar moving across to the Zealots. The Zealots see it. Kind of positioning all over the place. I feel like... Oh, interesting. Dropping some Dragoons on the high ground to perhaps try to deal with this. Still wants to elevate her, it looks like. That's his decision here. But he does not have a lot of defense forces. The Dragoon's out of position to deal with this drop. High Templar drops. Decent sized storm. Clears that natural expansion. Gandhi now behind in the overall production count. But he's starting to dive in on this unprotected Nexus here. That Nexus... Is there going to be a cancel from Bug in time now? Cancels it. Get his, it gets his resources back. But he is locked to three bases. Keep in mind, big supply lead. In the red, but still big supply lead. Starting to engage here. Plus, he has those Psy Storms, which are, wow, wreaking havoc on Gandhi's army. Gandhi lost the third to, a, to that Dark Templar. Incredible. So, Bug taking a big swing advantage, I'm going to call. He's got the supply lead. If he can just get some pylons out to start producing out of these gateways. Go ahead and grab his third. Gandhi backing off. He's lost a lot of probes. Keep in mind, a lot of those probes, it was oversaturating the bases. So it's not like he lost an immense amount of mining time. But he needs to start thinking about finding a way to take his third. Observer of the corner. He's going to see all that production. Or sorry, going to see that additional base being taken. Gandhi swing back around. He's got these two dragoons kind of stranded up on the high ground. He's just checking these additional expansions. We got eight gateways up. Four bug. Level two weapons. He's moving on to level three weapons. Plus, he's got that big upgrade advantage. Level one weapons right there. Another drop coming in for bug over the natural expansion. There's that wayward shuttle. I was wondering where it was. Another big storm. Emptying up that natural expansion. And right now, Gandhi's just floundering. Moving out some Dark Templar of his own. Bugdas does have the observers. He doesn't have a great spread. The, the Dark Templar just can't walk into the natural expansion. So this is mostly going to be... I think he's just hoping to get a, a free, a couple free high Templar kills. And it's just not going to happen. He's just going to lose these for free with those observers. Actually, one of them getting lucky with a misfire. Starting to move into this third base. But the cannons are already there. Dark Templar still sitting over that third base that Gandhi wanted to take. So this third base is going to go up well ahead of time for Bug. Already transferring probes to that location. And starting to clear this pylon. Bug, 33 supply lead. He's got a huge probe lead. The, size, uh, the, the drops have been devastating. Looks like almost able to get another drop off, but loses the shuttle right there. Gandhi was with those drops. Had his entire army basically out of position. Which might lead to Bug being able to basically start moving towards a contained situation. Again, he has more High Templar, more Psystorm 
And on Tau Cross, that can be a huge factor again because of these bridges. A bit of a split army here for Gandhi. There is a shuttle with two Reavers. With that size storm, that could be really devastating. Gandhi opting to not keep that with his army. He's going to go for a straight drop. Bug pressing in in the meantime. The main in a lot of trouble here, though. So it's going to be attacks on both fronts looking for size storms to really devastate this army. There's some nice size storms on the corner. Catches some of his own observers. But Reaver's dropping, and they're just working on these pylons to try to deactivate a lot of Bug's production, but I don't know that it's going to make a difference as Bug with his army is just diving in, and I think that was GG and an exit right there. Yeah, Bug just having too much. Because here's the thing. Even with the Reavers doing the damage here, taking out this pylon, and I think he was just AFK on that, wasn't going to stop everything else from being breached as, as well. So game one, I'm wondering if that was like an early bugged out quit. But either way, bug tapes game one. We move on to game two momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.